bastard. I have made a massive mistake. We've proved that you do not need pace. A very good goal for Mito. Rage quit. Hi guys, I'm Ghost Masala and welcome to a uh, top 5 video which is a very good one because I actually managed to qualify for weekend league for the first time forever. So, I mean that might not seem like an achievement to you but uh, I've only really started playing FIFA well at the start of this year. Uh, so it's been quite, <laughs> so yeah, it's been, I've been able to finally qualify through daily knockout tournament. Of course it's been made a bit harder by the fact that I can't qualify through seasons due to the fact of Rota Hokkaido and also I don't have that much time anyway so yeah having qualified I decided to make a top 5 list on uh, the top 5 tips to win the daily knockout tournament and you may be saying well uh, how are you qualified to do this if only won one daily knockout tournament well this isn't really aimed at pe people who want to win daily knockout tournament every time this is just for the people who like no, uh, just starting to get into competitive FIFA starting to they want to try out weekend league and um, they they just can't w do go anywhere in the daily knockout tournament. And I guarantee that these tips will help you double your um, chance of um, getting of winning the daily knockout tournament. Or I will give you a silver J Japanese player for free. Anyone you want. So yeah, the gameplay in the background is kind of irrelevant. It's just the Road to Hokkaido match that I played off camera, well on camera technically, and I was winning 2-0 and I threw it away, so that was good. So yeah, just watch that and uh, it's it is irrelevant, but uh, yeah. And I won it when it was in silver, so I'll explain that in the video, but here's, I'm guessing I'm showing my team on screen and it was very good with Sal up front, sort of eight goal, 10 goals in 8 games, which was fantastic. Took me a few attempts to... Uh, complete it but uh, only three attempts which was quite good and yeah let's get on to the tips tip number five is to not feel the stress of the daily knockout tournament and this is a slightly strange one but it definitely is a big one especially like st starting off you may think oh i'm just an underdog you know uh, especially if you're like uh, quite bad at the, if i'm not quite bad but you haven't qualified before so yeah you'll be thinking i don't know well, can i do it am i good enough and then you'll, you'll probably get a bit of courage from that and be able to win your first few games. The problem is get into the later rounds and basically the only way if you feel that if you're if it's your first time qualifying for daily knockout tournament you're going to feel a lot of stress towards the later rounds because you're like I have to win this in order to qualify because then you've got to start again. So the solution to this is to go is to try and score a goal as soon as possible but that can be quite hard so just make sure that you don't overplay don't mess up with your goalkeeper because that like that contributes to losses if you if you make a mistake then it's easier to come back from a goal that you that you conceded equally but if you make a mistake it can really get to you and just wear you down so make sure you don't make stupid mistakes just take it slowly don't go too quickly pass it around get a feel for your opponent and soon you won't feel the stress at so and then moving on to tip number four we have play defensively and by that I mean switch the in-game to defensive not in formation but you know what I mean the on the d-pad so how you do this is on the d-pad you press the left d-pad button twice and it'll switch to defensive so why this is good is it will let you get a feel for how good the opposition's team is so they they'll come at you and then uh, you hopefully you get the if you can see straight away then sometimes some matches you know you're just gonna lose so if you can see straight from kickoff then oh well get change your plan maybe just take that as a loss but then once you have the attack with defensive if you're doing well on the attack with defensive and they're struggling to defend it's probably a good idea to switch to attacking them because um that you know you can score and if they're good at attacking they might score before you but if you go attacking you could score before them and getting the first goal is absolutely crucial so you're going to want to go defensive see how good they are if they're good at attacking and defending then you should you then you could go for a counter attacking play and that does happen quite a lot uh, in my run i definitely beat some people who are good at attacking and defending just through luck and uh, decent defending uh, by playing on defensive essentially so yeah and also don't mess around with things too much in uh, the game in the game of Roto Kaido that I just played I switched it from attacking to defensive and ended up conceding the goal which would make me draw the game which was very frustrating but <laughs> so annoying 
uh, especially as <laughs> I should have beat that person fairly. So yeah, stick to defensive, and d I mean switch if if you think you can score switch, but if you have just scored, stay with defensive. Don't mess around or do anything like that. And tip number three I have is two. D d do ball rolls. So if you don't know what these are, you got the right uh, on uh, on PS4 or on Xbox. You got the right trigger, uh, not the right trigger, the right stick. Move it in any direction while a player is not sprinting. So don't hold down RT. Just leave it. And then if you press the, if you put the right, st <laughs> if you put the right stick in any direction, the player will do a ball roll. And this opens up so much space. It's unbelievable. For forwards runs, I've done it a lot in the gameplay. Hopefully you've seen me do that. For forward runs, for just any space at all, if you if it's like a three on three, a ball roll can make the difference between a goal and just running into the defender. And yeah, it just puts people off so much. And I don't see people do it enough. And I, I see people doing like really complicated tricks that essentially do nothing. A simple ball roll. If you that I don't think a lot of people know how to do it. If you use that, it will it will be like. Wow, taking players out of the game left, right, and centre, uh, and uh, it also helps for players who don't have that much pace or who do have pace. It, it works either way. It's just the best, the best trick in the game, uh, and it works with play any players. So you don't have to. If you use this trick to, I mean, basically beat anyone. If they're prepared for it, then oh well. But it will help. If you, then you can use it with any player. You don't have to be concerned about skill moves. So it's great for me because I don't use skill moves at all. But it's a skill that's essentially I think everyone can do it. Maybe it's one star, but it's very very useful indeed. And you see pros using it, and it's not hard to do. So yeah, do a ball roll. Uh, it's, honestly, it will change. It will make your attacking play so much better. And for tip number two, we have. Um, do the gimmicky tournament so if you go on weekend league and look at details it will tell you what the requirements are do not do the ones that say no requirements because that is where all the hardball players come in and you'll see icon teams crazy teams like that if you go on like the ones like for example the one I qualified on was a silver team it just is so much easier because there's obviously the gap so for example you might have a 50k team and they can have a 2 million team, that's a big gap, but with silvers, it's not too much of a gap, and like, even the best silvers, it's contentious whether they're good anyway. I used mostly 65s, and I still managed to beat good players, like people who had foot champs players in their teams and stuff like that, so, uh, you know, the red version, so, I mean, it, honestly, it, it, with the gimmicky ones, even the 6 gold players ones, um, they're gonna have to have some silver players in their teams, so that's gonna seriously hinder them. And if you if you're good at squad building, you can build a really good team for cheap. And I mean, I only spend two k on my team because I already had the players in my club. So yes, I like, like it's so much easier and cheaper to do. Uh, and also, the player people aren't used prepared to use silvers, so. Um, if uh, yeah, so if especially if you like in a different like for example, I play Road to Kaido, so I'm used to using silvers. People, other people are not used to using silvers at all, so it just gives you an advantage, especially if you play at a disadvantage normally. And finally, the first and most important tip that if you don't know this, then well, you if you, then you clearly haven't got to the final before because everyone does this but this is the most important tip by far it will give you so much of an advantage and it's kind of a bit of a dodgy one as well so it's reputable as whether you're a good person if you do this but put training items on your players seriously do this it's the best that's what you need to do to in order to win the fight of course it's going to be cost you a lot of coins to put training items six plus six attributes on all of your players through all of the round but so once you get to the foot so basically if you put training items on your players you can take out three rounds as so long they, they don't have training items on your players because honestly the training items made the game so much easier I was playing against a foot champs guy in the final just ram a load of training items on um, 
players and uh, yeah into we uh, daily knockout tournament just to confirm that this is not a tip to make you better at football it's just a tip to help you win the daily knockout tournament for whatever reason so yeah not football fifa to make you better at fifa so yeah uh thanks for watching uh of course rota Hokkaido, not rota Kaido, honju challenge will be back soon but i want to do a weekend league for a challenge of that it'll be tough but yeah so i wanted to do that which is why i postponed it but yeah that'll be good i just need to buy some players uh, for that but uh hopefully i have the coins by then <laughs>